Hi, I'm Jack Sayani, and I'm going to show you how to pune your iPhone to the 2.0 firmware using Punit Tools 2. Now I have my Mac here, and now you need to launch the Punit Tool 2. If you don't have Punit Tool 2, you can go to my blog. It is the iPhone blog dot blogspot.com and on the blog you'll see a post called punage 2 to release and you'll have a download link to the punage 2 so you can get it from my blog once you have it you need to extract it to a directory here I have a directory called iPhone unlock and in the iPhone unlock directory you need to have certain tools to use, use the Punish tool such as the bootloader files, the firmwares and mainly the Punish tool which we have already got. So now we are going to launch the Punish tool. This is how it looks like. Punit 2. Here are the devices supported. Now we have two modes here. One is a simple mode and an expert mode. We are going to choose the expert mode because in simple mode there will be certain modifications made to the phone such as the boot logo will be changed from the apple to the pineapple. So to go to the expert mode just click on the expert mode and you'll see a blue border surrounding it. After selecting the expert mode, we're going to choose the device which is the iPhone and we're going to choose next. Now it's searching for the IPSW and it found a file. This is the IPSW file which is found from my iTunes library folder and if it kind can't find the file on your computer you can just click on browse for IPSW and locate the file yourself. So now I'm going to select the IPSW file and then click on next. Now here I have the advanced options. In general settings, there are options like activate the phone, enable baseband update, disable partition wipeout, and you can select the root partition size, which is the most important feature, because if you get apps through installer, you may fall in short of the root partition size, so you may want to extend it from 500 MB to a gig or two. I'm going to extend it to one gig. So here it shows 1024 MB. Now after selecting it, click on next. And you have the boot neuter settings here where you can neuter the bootloader, unlock the baseband and auto delete boot neuter dot app. Now it's a very good feature that you can delete boot neuter dot app. So if you open it by chance and select some settings like uh, disable unlock then your phone might get locked again. So I'm going to keep the default settings on this screen and proceed to next. Now here it shows the CDS settings and in CDS settings you can select a few apps that you want pre-installed in the firmware so you can select them and you can shift the tab to download packages and download the necessary one and you can manage sources as well so if you want to add more sources to the CDR packager. Now I've gone to download packages and I've downloaded some packages. The mobile terminal, open SSH and open SSL. So now I'm going to select all of them and click in next. Now here you can set the custom package settings but I would recommend to keep these as the default. Now this is the custom logo settings. If you go to the simple mode, your boot logo will be chained to the pineapple and the recovery logo to the Steve Jobs picture. 
so now I'm going to unpick both of these because I preferred the default Apple logo and the default iTunes logo so I've unchecked both of these and I click on next and now this is the main settings page again and now I'm going to click on build now I click on build and next now it asks me the location where I want to save the custom IPSW file so I will select the iPhone unlock folder that I've created and now it's building the IPSW this may take some time after some time you will see the authentication screen and just type in your password and click on OK now you will see a pop-up window asking you has your iPhone been tuned before if you've tuned your iPhone before to 1.1.4 select yes or if you've used some other ways of unlocking such as Zibri Z iPhone then select no but in my case I have an unlocked 1.1.4 iPhone which was tuned so I select yes now it tells you close your punage tool application put your iPhone in recovery mode start iTunes and restore so now click on OK and you'll see this message called success so now you can click on next and click on exit at the top and the punage tool will quit once you have your iPhone connected to your Mac and you get the recovery screen either it's the Steve Jobs picture if you have a tuned iPhone or the iTunes logo now you'll see a message saying that iTunes has detected the iPhone in recovery mode click on OK now you'll have to select restore but on the Mac you have to select the alt or op option button and then click on restore so it opens the uh, custom firmware folder and then you can navigate to the IPSW image once you've selected the image you get the details here so just verify whether it's the same file click on open now we'll get message saying extracting software preparing iPhone for restore now here you will see the iPhone is rebooted now it says restoring iPhone software this may take a while now it will verify the iPhone software and you will see the progress ring at the bottom of the boot screen then it says restoring iPhone firmware now a window will say it's restored successfully now your iPhone will boot for the first time in the 2.0 firmware so you will see the boot neutral 2 so right now it's unlocking your bootloader flashing the baseband and doing the remaining unlock procedure and here it's booted here are the default icons and you have app store here CDA here and terminal which I had selected in the punage process and the contacts icon on the second screen
Now here I have full signal strength and my edge network is reachable and the new features are mobile me support in mail so now I can sync with mobile me and exchange support further I have the new calculator which can be tilted for a scientific calculator thanks for watching the tutorial and happy puning